Hey, Composing Gloves here, and today we're going to be talking about the frequency spectrum and what is it. So, let's come over here to the other FL Studio, and here I have some frequency spectrum stuff for us. So, you're going to see this in, like, tons of plugins. It's in the EQ. If we were to open up, like, Parametric EQ2, which is now up here. Okay, so if I play some tones... We see that we have this line over here. We see that we have these lines. If I go to a different waveform and we know that there's a fundamental tone, that these things are made up of all this jazz. Today, we're just talking about the frequency spectrum. What is it? Well, there's this, if the frequency spectrum is going to be divided up into these things called bands. So we know that Hertz is the amount of cycles per second. And then we have whenever a Hertz rate is determined so like let's say that we have something that determine we've determined that it oscillates a thousand times per second we're going to put a line here and the brighter it is the louder the bigger the amplitude is of that signal and so this uh whenever that happens so this is called the frequency spectrum so you could go from like zero so no hertz to one hertz to two hertz all the way up to like forever you could go up to a billion hertz now we can only hear 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and that's like if you have exceptional hearing some people can only hear up to like uh like 12k and it's usually older folk but if you listen to at really loud volumes you could suffer problems and then this lower stuff uh if you're like exceptional at that too you tend to feel things below below like 20 20 hertz you generally feel you don't hear that um because it's just too slow so this is a frequency spectrum. It's just an index basically of all the frequencies. And so whenever we have a sound that's got frequencies in here, as you can see, we have some frequency at this rate, some at that rate, and they get softer as we go up and they, because the fundamental is the loudest one. And so that's the frequency spectrum. So when we look at it here, here we have this frequency spectrum. We have the notes associated with it in octaves and we actually have 20 Hertz, 50 Hertz, 100 Hertz. And you can see the overtone series. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next video is the parts of this spectrum and the different series related things that go with them. So I just wanted you to be familiar with the frequency spectrum, what it is. Should be a pretty simple idea. It just maps out uh, the frequencies that we have over a graph. One other thing you need to be aware of is sometimes they'll split the frequency spectrum up into bands. I feel like I need to do this. So I have bands and then another band that overlaps. This is called a crossover. And they'll use crossovers in things like your speakers, where you have two drivers or three drivers, one for your highs, one for your mids, one for your lows, and they'll split up the frequency spectrum and feed each one different frequencies so that you get your whole spectrum, but with speakers that are specifically designed to reproduce that part of the spectrum. They're the best at vibrating at those rates. So that's that. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day. I'm <laughs>